if you're looking for something fun to do this weekend, why not head down to Port Colborne and Canal Days? As Lauren Saverin tells us, the annual celebration began something, uh, something small 32 years ago and has now exploded into a three-day-long party along the Welland Canal. West Street along the Welland Canal was jammed with people hours before the celebration officially begins. Yeah, you hear a lot about it on the news, and actually I watched you guys on the news this morning. Talking about Canal Talking Day. about Canal Day, so that's why we came down to check it out. The tall ships are a huge draw. This is my first year here, actually in Port Colborne, and I'm going to be going out on one of those ship rides. I'm going to go check out the hotel, check out all the vendors. All kinds of vendors selling everything from cowboy hats Skin off a kiwi, peach or tomato. to kitchen gadgets. Last year they estimated about 350,000 people came down to Port Colborne for Canal Days. With this beautiful weather, they expect even more this weekend. We're quite fortunate because we have a lot of space here downtown Port Colborne, along the canal, at the park, at Lockade Park, uh, and throughout the whole city. So although we have a lot of people coming out, it's pretty comfortable uh, for the families to, to walk about. People come from all over. This woman is visiting from Britain. Well, we're going to have some lunch, and then we're just going to have a good look around. There's something for everyone. I think the fireworks on Sunday will probably be pretty nice, and definitely the food. A huge stage has been set up in Market Square and festival goers can enjoy music all weekend. <laughs> and David Wilcox will take the stage tonight. Rock star in excess Susie McNeil will perform tomorrow. Now all of these concerts are free. They're open to people of all ages. All they ask is for a donation at the gate. A trooper and David Wilcox should be taking the stage within the hour. This is the catalyst to Canal Days, the ships that come through this port. The Welland Ship Canal is the reason Port Colborne is here. Laurent Sadrin, CHCH News, Port Colborne.